So this year's Black Friday seemed to go on for a very long time. And normally I don't really find a bargain on Black Friday, but this year has been the exception. And well, I'm gonna go through with you today those items that I managed to pick up. Hey everyone and welcome to a new video on Bite of Geek. So today I'm going to be going through uh, the items that I managed to pick up on Black Friday. Well actually Black Friday week and, and beyond because I think some retailers actually had a, um, kind of like a pre and a post Black Friday sale as well. So um, this is all kind of like smart home related stuff this video. Uh, no kind of like random stuff in here. Um, but basically, you know, I, I spent more time on AliExpress this year than probably previous years, and um, I've managed to pick up, what I think, are some good little bargains there as well. They're usually quite cheap anyway. Um, so I'm going to be going through those with you today. I'll show you the listings for them as well. So if you want to pick them up yourself, you can um, go and have a look. Obviously, the prices might, might well have gone and changed a little bit, but, um, you know, if you are interested in them, then uh, the option is there. Okay, so first parcel that we've got. Um, so somebody else has actually kindly kind of gone and opened this for me, uh, but this is actually the first time I've seen what's inside. So, uh, okay, so this is the Acara water leak uh, detector sensor. Um, so I got this off of AliExpress. Uh, I generally find AliExpress is quite, uh, quite a bit cheaper for uh, some of the Acara products. You just gotta be careful to make sure you get kind of like the global version. Uh, rather than the China only version. Um, but uh, I got this um, due to a recent event in the house. So um, yeah, I'm, I'm hoping this is going to uh, prove it's, uh, it's worth, even though it wasn't that expensive anyway. Um, but slightly different uh, design uh, on this product compared to other Akara products. Uh, normally all their stuff is kind of like a matte finish, whereas this is kind of like the shiny surface to it. Um, so, you know, underneath you've got kind of like the, the kind of like the two little detectors and then you've got uh, where your, um, you know, uh, button battery uh, goes. So, you know, just pop this cover off. It's, um, so it's just like a little screw in cover and there you see there's kind of like the coin uh, battery in there. Sometimes what you get with the, the Acara stuff from AliExpress, sometimes they've, they've got battery uh, kind of like um, uh, protectors inside to stop drain of battery. Sometimes they don't. This one uh, doesn't seem to have that. So I'm almost certainly going to have to change the battery on this. Um, we'll, we'll see when we get set up. But this, uh, this will integrate with Home Assistant via Zigbee to MQTT. Um, so, um, you know, people put these underneath washing machines, dishwashers, um, you know, this one's, uh, given what's happened in the house, this one's going to go in the bathroom. So, so the Acara leak sensor, uh, I got this from the Acara home store on AliExpress. Uh, I've bought quite a few Acara products from them, so they're pretty reliable. Um, it's currently £10.62. I paid about a pound less than that during Black Friday week, uh, but I'll put a link down below in the description if you want to pick one of these up. So next parcel, and uh, this one's not been opened by somebody else in my house. Um, so this is another one from AliExpress. So um, yeah, this feels like it's two items in this package. Uh, I'm assuming I've gone and bought these two from the, from the same seller. Sometimes with AliExpress, they, they com combine them at the fulfillment center and you get kind of like a bigger package, but this one, um, this one looks like it's from the same seller. So this is the first item I've got here is a Zigbee um, RGB W controller for an LED strip. So I already have one of these. I fitted uh, LED lights underneath the kitchen cabinets, um, which I've not done a video for uh, because it took quite a bit of um, time to go and do. Um, however, this is a 12 volt uh, adapter um, it's got barrel connector for the for the power and um, you know I've got this running uh, just kind of like five meters five and a half meters of LEDs at the moment so I'm going to use one of these for uh, underneath lighting underneath the kind of like the upper cabinets in the kitchen as well so um, 
it, you know, again, comes up in Zigbee to MQTT, comes up as a light bulb, bizarrely. I don't know whether that's something to do with, um, you know, kind of like the, the, uh, the configuration information or whatever, but it is a known issue on that, but it, it works fine. You know, it's a, it's a simple controller and it works absolutely fine. Um, so next item that is in that package, uh, so I think I know what this one is. Uh, this, uh, so I ordered some um, kind of like a, a, another present sensor. So um, obviously I did a review of the Screek present sensor uh, recently on the channel. So I ordered this one. Um, oddly, you had to pay extra if you wanted the mount for it, which is what the little packet there is. But um, this sensor uh, again is a is a Zigbee sensor. Um, so this will integrate nicely uh, on the, uh, the the existing network that I've got, and um, it, it's certainly a bit bigger than what I thought it would be. Um, you know, you know, in the box you get you know USB cable, and uh, this 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 is like um, this is almost kind of like a, a mini a mini hub in its size. Um, you know, it's. Uh, it's not quite that small, but it's certainly a, a lot bigger than what I was expecting. I think if I just put the Screek sensor next to it, you can actually see the difference in size. So I'd be interested to see what's inside uh, this particular sensor. Um, I have to check the list and just see whether this is kind of like single person or multi-person uh, detection. I think it's just a single one, but it is, you know, you compare it to the Screek sensor and um, Oh, it's kind of you know three times the size so um, you know it has got a, a light sensor in it so is the Screek one um, but yeah I imagine there's probably quite a bit of space on the inside so um, I did order the uh, kind of like the mount for it which uh, is extra why it doesn't come with it in the standard price I don't know um, but uh, looking at it now um, I'm not sure I'm probably going to use that. I think it was like a pound or something like that. So, um, yeah, I think, um, you know, there might be a, a better better way of mounting this uh, rather than using that. Uh, you, you do, yeah, I mean, it's kind of got 3M tape there, but it doesn't seem to be super sticky on the other side. So I'm not quite sure how that's all going to uh, affix to a wall. I'm um, not quite sure what this uh, clear clear pads for either because that's not sticky so <laughs> uh, you get USB cable it looks to be a, a, a fairly generous size USB cable and uh, just in the bottom of the box here uh, okay so there's some sticky pads in the bottom of the box as well uh, which are actually stuck to the bottom of the box which is useful um, so yeah maybe maybe they'll do for, for the mount but as I say I'm probably going to try uh, and mount this a different way to, to using that mount so the Zigbee uh, LED controller, I got this from the M Light store. This is where I bought it from previously. Uh, they do it lots of different ver uh, variations of this, so just make sure you pick the right one for your needs. Um, I paid about uh, 80 pence less than this, so it's currently £6.33, so I think I was kind of like £5.50, something like that, um, during Black Friday week. Again, I'll put a link down below in the description if you want to pick one of these up. So for the Zigbee present sensor, uh, so I got this from the uh, Gleco Smart Life store. And um, as I say, I probably wouldn't bother ordering the mount um, unless you know you specifically need something like that. Um, yeah, I paid £11.58, including the mount. That's currently £10.73, excluding the mount. So it's about £12 odd, including the mount. So you can just save yourself a little bit of money there. Um, if you can live without it. Again, I'll put a link down below uh, to this in the description as well. So next off, so uh, this is quite a light parcel. So I think I know what is in this one. Um, yes, yeah, so this is some ESP32 uh, S2 minis. Um, so if you've seen the video previously on the channel about the Screek present sensor, you'll see that these are used in that. Um, so I'm gonna just try making my own present sensor. 
Um, so I bought, I thought I'd only bought two of these, looks like I've bought three of these. Um, but they are really kind of tiny for, for what you get. Um, and, and they weren't that expensive. When we look at the listing in a minute, you'll, you'll see, you know, they were relatively cheap for um, what you're actually getting here. Um, but, you know, if you've not used one of these before, um, you know, they, they are uh, quite good for uh, kind of like, you know, doing your own kind of like maker project. You just kind of like zoom in a little bit here. You'll see, you know, there's, there's, there's nothing to this. Um, and, uh, you know this particular listing where I got them from uh, you know it comes with all the kind of like the expansion headers if, that, if that's what you call them um, you know that go on the board so you can plug on uh, child devices as well so uh, really quite handy some of the listings you don't get that and you have to pay extra uh, to um, to get those um, so it just just adds to the overall cost um, but yeah so I ordered three of those um, so I'm hoping I've ordered the appropriate three items uh, to go with them. So uh, when it comes to the ESP32 S2 Minis, there's so many sellers for this. I just went with one that seemed to have good uh, ratings and that was the win-win uh, store. So um, yeah, uh, you know, these are £1.81. Uh, I paid £1.74, a, a total of £5 and a penny. I don't think I paid any postage on this. Um, so um, yeah quite quite the discount on it but just yeah the, they're all selling the same product so just go for uh you know whichever one's the cheapest for you that's got the best ratings but i'll put a link to this particular one down below in the description okay so next parcel uh, and this one is uh is is quite uh, quite the chunky parcel Okay, so I think I know what this is as well because these have come in the same uh, packaging. So let's just get into these. We've got quite well protected for uh, what what I believe these are going to be. Uh, so again, these are from AliExpress. This is from from Bonnie. Bonnie's gone and sent me this. Uh, so hello, Bonnie, if you if you're watching this video, um, nice little plastic business card you've got there. Um, so this is this is from uh, Highlink on uh, on AliExpress. So this is uh, the present sensors to go with the ESP32 uh, S2 Minis, um, and uh, this has also got kind of like the USB connector to be able to um, kind of like do. Uh, I think it's kind of like you know for hooking it up to your PC, so you can you can do stuff with it from the PC as well. I need to read up more on that before I actually start to play with those. So um, I may well do a video about this if if you guys are interested on that. You know what what you know what you do with this, how you set it up, and everything. Let me know down below in the comments. Um, all very new to me. Um, you know ESP32 and Home Assistant. So yeah, I'm going to have a good play around with that. And then um, this one. So another one. So this is this is from Nikki. Hello, Nikki. Um, you know, nice to meet you. Um, so uh, this particular present sensor. So this is uh, whilst the others were kind of like the ones that were in the Screek uh, U1 unit that I reviewed, which are kind of like single person detection. This is actually the multi uh, person detection. Um, so I'm going to be giving that a go and see uh, see how well I can get that working. Um, so yeah let me know if you want to see a video on that as well um but yeah these are these are really really tiny uh you know i've got the camera quite well zoomed in there it's it's remarkable how small these uh, these little sensors are so with the millimeter wave sensors uh, as is the case with electronics sometimes you win sometimes you lose it does look like these have come down a little bit more since i bought them uh, so i think you know for the two single person um sensors and the multi-person sensor that I bought I've probably overpaid uh, for the total by about a pound but um, it is what it is um, I got these from the uh, Shenzhen um, Highlink electronics store um, you can get them from other sellers as well this was probably one of the ones which I found which had the best reviews uh, for their uh, for their store and their products as well but I'll put a link down below for both of those types of sensors
Okay, so next parcel and uh, no prizes for guessing where this one's come from. Yes, this one is also from AliExpress. I say I did spend quite a bit of time on AliExpress uh, this year. So, um, so this is a Acara vibration sensor. So again, another device that I've not used. This will integrate with Home Assistant via uh, Zigbee to MQTT. Um, not quite sure what I'm going to do with this. To be honest with you, this was kind of like, a, oh, I haven't got one of those and I'd like to get one of those because I can do something with it. Um, people use these on the side of washing machines to determine whether uh, washing machines have been, uh, you know, the, the, the cycle has gone and finished, uh, you know, instead of using a smart plug. Um, you know, people use them inside of drawers and stuff like that to know when things are getting opened. Um, yeah, you know, I think somebody I've seen somebody go and use these as kind of like a bed sensor as well. I'm not sure how successful that is as a bed sensor, but you know, you can you can do stuff like that. So it's not just kind of you know stick it in place and you know if there's a bit of vibration then you you know something's happened. Um, but standard Akara affair, you know, you've got the the um, battery coin slot on the back and. Uh, you just open it up and pop that in and then you've got your little sticker as well to uh, to go in there. So for the Acara vibration sensor, so I got this again from the Acara Global Store. Um, yeah, looking at this now, it seems I overpaid uh, a little bit uh, at the time uh, when I ordered it. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's about, you know, it's got free shipping and... The, compared to what I paid for it, it's about one pound fifty cheaper, so um, quite the bargain now. Um, but that's the way electronics work. So if you are after one of these, I will put the link down below in the description. So next item up. So I got this from Amazon. Um, so uh, clearly, I know what's inside this. Uh, I've been after one of these for a while. Uh, the, the kind of the price has been all over the place, but it actually hits a bit of a sweet spot during the Black Friday week, and it is a Elgato uh, Stream Deck. Um, so, yeah, you know, with kind of like all the video editing and stuff like that, useful item to have. I'm not going to be using it for for streaming or anything like that. Um, but the other thing that really is of interest is obviously this will integrate with Home Assistant. Uh, you can set up um, you know, the buttons to, uh, to do certain things with Home Assistant as well. I've seen a couple of videos on um, what's achievable with that. Oh, these buttons are really, really nice. I wasn't expecting that. Um, yeah, they, they feel very much kind of like soft, like Jelly Sweet type, uh, type buttons. Um, so yeah that's kind of like the the controller and then um, i'm assuming this is um, usb cable in the box as well so um yeah you, you know uh, again kind of ideas around what i'm going to be doing with this and again some of it will be a bit of trial and error but um yeah this is a, a really nice unit this this back bit just kind of like comes off and you know you put your cable in there and then pop that back cover back on really useful device uh you know it doesn't replace kind of like a tablet in my opinion i think this is more for whilst i'm actually just kind of like at, at the desk working at the desk i can easily do things via that control panel so as i mentioned stream deck was bought on amazon uk um, it's still at a, a good reduced price compared to what its normal price is it normally sells for 145 pounds um, generally for the black version um, so it's still £10 more uh, than what um, I got it for on Black Friday. So um, again, you know, if you are interested in one of those, I will put the link down below in the description. And then finally, so this one has already been opened, this box, because it had some other uh, Christmas presents in there. Um, again, another item which just hit that sweet spot in terms of um the the price that it was being sold for so this is a drayton wiser um smart home heating system um so you know i kind of like have a, a a wireless system at the moment but it it's it's all done via kind of like the, the thermostat there's you know you just set up schedules and that's it you know there's no real um you know control of the uh the the trvs on the radiators so um this uh, will integrate in Home Assistant. This is actually a Zigbee-based 
network, this uh, heating system, um, but it won't join, as far as I'm aware, it won't join my existing Zigbee network. It's kind of like a, um, a, a, a Zigbee network that is proprietary to, to Drayton Wiser. If you know otherwise, and I've got that wrong, please correct me in the comments below. I've got the controller, uh, I've got the thermostat, and then I've got radiator valves uh, for all bar one radiator. So, um, you know, there are other systems available on the market. I've looked a long time at the pros and cons of both of the systems, kind of like the, the main two that people try and, and use nowadays. Um, and kind of like the, the Drayton one is the, is the one that seems to be more suitable for my needs. So, um, you know, if you're interested in uh, me doing a video on this, um, then let me know. Uh, in the comments below and I will try and do one whilst I've kind of like you know the install and the the, the setup of it and everything can um, you know how it's working out for me in use. So the Drayton Wiser smart heating system so I, I got this from Amazon UK. Um, Drayton are doing a general discount at the moment on this product so there is a 30% off of the uh, the price that they've got listed there. Um, however, it is still far more expensive than what um, it was available for on Black Friday. Um, so, but you know, if you are interested in one, I will put the link down below in the description. Okay, so there you go. That is my Black Friday smart home haul. Uh, all the items that I bought uh, this year. Um, you know, what do you guys think? You know, anything interesting there you'd like me to do? Uh, kind of like some individual videos on um, obviously some of the items I, I plan to do anyway but is there anything in particular you'd like to see uh, from what I've shown you today um, you know let me know down below in the comments uh, I'd love to know your feedback on some of the items that I've got there have you used uh, some of those and kind of like yeah okay that's a load of rubbish again you know drop it but down below in the comments um, but if you've enjoyed this video then don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more content uh, like this and certainly any other videos that come out of all of those items that I've bought. But as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.